Hi, everybody. It's Linda G. And it is Friday, November 10th, which would have been my mother's birthday. Happy birthday, Mom, and in heaven. Her new birthday is September 16th. That's when she crossed. So um, I I haven't announced that I was going to do this because I, I don't know how long this is going to last. I really have some pressing questions. First of all, I want to thank you guys for booking. I was just going to do a little holiday special on some readings. It ended up being Armageddon. So many people. So many people. As it was, Wix was booking three or four people in one 45-minute block. So the only thing we could figure out, it was so many people asking for that time, they all booked at the same time. Some people went to book, went to pay. By the time they came back, it was gone. So here's the news on that. So I'm not overwhelmed with it, but I'm not going to book out for a year. But being that I had opened up, I think, March, um, I've, I've decided to keep it going. So... In about 30 days, I'll probably go and open May, okay? Sorry. Makeup and uh, excuse the, tea, the sweatshirt. It is, it is sunny, but it's cold out here. So, okay. So just FYI, because it just looks like I, I, I stopped for a while, almost what, 11 months and, um, I did miss everybody. And then when I've done some readings, I really started to miss it. So I thought, why not? So that's how we're doing it. Although it's weird. Some people would write me and say, yeah, I want a reading book me. It's like, you got to go to the website, book yourself. So if you missed out or whatever, wait till the end of this month, maybe the first week of December, and it should be open. Okay, so I got that out of the way. So somebody, if you need a reading, will get a reading, okay? I was kind of like adding people manually. As it is, when I went through, there was a bunch of people blocked together. So I had to use my Saturday, which is my day off, to do readings because of the overbooks. So, and change some of their times. So, okay. And I just got to say something about the Golden Bachelor. I don't know if this was brought up because I kind of fast forward everything. I don't like the fact he was telling the women that he rejected that he loved them. He was telling everybody he loved them. You don't say that to a woman unless you mean it. You know what I'm saying? Because these women were walking away, just walking on cloud nine, thinking they were in like Flynn. And he just said that to everybody. I didn't like that part. But, you know, it's interesting because I used to complain about the young women doing all kinds of drama. Older women do drama. But I tell you, this group that was on that show was hella funny. Everybody had gas problems. This was my kind of crowd. Do you know what I'm saying? So, okay. But enough of that. I want to look at Manchin. Okay. He actually thinks he's going to run for president. I told you guys this. He thinks he's going to run for president. I also want to see who takes his seat, okay? I just want to ask my pendulum real quick, and then I'm going to do a throw on it. Angel of light and mercy, please protect me with the truth and only the truth. Does Senator Manchin think he could actually win as president? Yes. And the other thing the news media is saying, but I heard it too, apparently he would have lost this time. So I don't know who's running against him, but that's what they were saying. So he checked out hoping to get it. I'm going to go around and talk to the nation. I heard crickets when he said that, which means, yeah, not too many people gathering around. Um, go ahead. I just heard that he wouldn't actually take... Uh, Take, he wouldn't hurt Biden. That's what I heard. He wouldn't take that many votes away from Biden. Remember, I told you Robert Kennedy's taking votes away from Trump. Okay. 
or RFK Jr. is taking votes away from Trump. Tell me about Manchin in his quest. Please tell me the truth. And I'm the truth. Well, so of course I dropped one. Hey, my my toes are so tick serious. If that's the word for it, I can pick it up with my toes. Tell me what I can tell everyone. Okay, here we go. He's looking around. But it's like, I hear crickets. I hear like nothing is happening. Yeah, he'll be very disappointed. Look at that. He thinks he's going to offer people a, a, a new outcome, more moderate, but it's not going to happen. Biden wrote a real nice letter about him saying, thank you. I appreciate everything you've done. But he was two-faced, worked both sides. And But he, oh my God. Okay, thank you. He's underhanded, you guys. I think he got some money for stepping away. I think he got some money. And he knows that's not right. Or some sort of donation. It's on the up and up, but it's it's really for him stepping away so this other person can win. Um, it's saying that he, he'll try, but it's just not how he's underhanded. You guys, he's not doing the right thing and justice will come. God will stand there. We're not, we can't wish for bad, but it's a nothing burger. Nothing's going to happen for him. Let's see who takes his place. Who takes? Is it a Republican? Is it a Republican that takes? Mansion's place. Okay, let's look. A strong person uh, picking up, taking off, a lot of money going towards it. Here's Biden. Um, no, it looks like the Republican might have a problem. Let's ask the pendulum. Jeez, I would have thought that just a shoe in because it's a red state. Maybe it's just a lot of hassle. Maybe they're going to be disappointed because they don't take the Senate again. Will a Republican replace Banshin? It's saying yes. Okay. Is it the one everybody's thinking? It's saying yes. Okay. So yes, but are they are the Republicans able to take over the Senate? Will the Republicans win enough? It's saying no. Okay, let me ask. Will John Tester, I got to send him some money. Wait. Will John Tester win again? It's saying yes. Tester will win again. What are some of the close ones? Will, will, okay. So we lost this seat with Manchin. Will we gain seats? Yes. Will we gain one seat? No. Two seats. Two more seats. Okay. Okay. So you heard it here. Uh, Mansion is a has been. Let's look about cinema. I don't think she, I don't know if she's announced. Remember, she's an independent running for Senate. Well, Kirsten Cinema, I heard no as clear as day. I heard no as clear as day. And I've told you guys before she's going. Okay, cinema is like, no way. Ruben Galliego. Is Ruben Galliego going to win as Senate? It's saying yes. Okay, thank you. Um, how about Carrie Lake? Does she have a chance to say no? 
Um, and there's someone else running against um, Ruben Gallego. It doesn't matter. Uh, the, the Carrie Lake is mad. There's some other Republican running. And she says he should drop out. Don't ask me why I'm getting that. Carrie Lake's not going to win. That's the main thing. And cinema. Cinnamon Buns is not going to win. Okay, this is very important. Mike Johnson, they're not at work today. There is no budget. They took three days off. And that's his job. And he's going somewhere to talk with a bunch of people trying to gain uh, favor. So we need to know, well, we have a budget in a week. Oh, you know, God forbid. But if we don't, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. And it's going to hurt the Republicans, especially when they took time off. Tell me if Mike Johnson will actually have a budget. And apparently... He's getting hit no matter what he says, one side hits him or the other side hits him. They can't get it together. I mean, it's sad because now you're going to have our military over there hitting Syria and helping over, over in the Middle East, and then you're not going to pay these people? That's cool. I can see Biden's face. I don't know. Tell me what you can tell me. Will Mike Johnson have a budget? He's fortune's fate. Okay. Um, there is some sort of harmony or some success coming up. Uh, but look at the seven of swords coming off the battlefield. It's just, they come up with something and then they get pulled down. A lot of tensions at work and gossiping. Uh, they're trying to get financial partnerships. He might put a extension on, like there's some sort of extension going. They will eventually come up with something, but they might actually get an extension through real quick because them cray crays out there. You know what I'm saying? Divine mercy, tell me what's going to happen. I see him telling people, you're making us look like fools. We're really looking into Mike Johnson. We're getting his dirty laundry out. I, I don't know what they're finding, but I see a lot of dirty laundry. Yeah, he's not. Mike Johnson is not favored at all. He's definitely not going to be in there long. Let's look. Angel, light and mercy. Will we get a budget done before the week is over? It's saying no. Will the government be closed? Saying yes. Will we come up with an extension? Yes. So I think we go to close it, might even get closed for a day or two, and then we get the extension. But he can't handle this crowd. He can't handle the truth. So... How long does Mike Johnson have? December. Tell me when he leaves. December. No. January. February. Looks like February. He might have to step away. It's really weird because I see protests for both sides. I see protests about what they're doing to America. They're not listening. They're not doing their jobs. I also see protests um, from the right wing protesting about what they, you know, they wanted to burn down. They just want the United States of America to burn down. It's very sad. 
it's very sad, but it won't. We we're st- we we will still stand strong. So, oh, did you guys see that Marjorie Taylor Greene has someone threatening her life, which you do not want to happen? And the FBI, etc., caught the person. He's arrested, and she wrote a thing thanking you know the FBI, etc. I said to her on I think it was Twitter. I said, "Isn't that nice?" that letter you wrote. I said, but yet you want to defund these people. The the very ones that got rid of the this person that made you and your family afraid. So it's interesting that they're getting it on both sides. It's not just Democrats, it's Republicans getting threats. Now, as far as that substance, some of it was baking soda or baking powder. Some of it was a drug. United States Postal Service is really looking in on this. Will they catch? Yes, I just heard yes. It's three different people. They will catch them, but there's three that know of this or were planning this. This is like one of the terrorist actions I told you guys about that that was beginning. Um. So... So the the Gaza situation, they've been posting a picture of a man whose hands are bloody that's apparently done it like 15 times. He's like an actor. So um, it's really sad because they mess it up for everybody else. But didn't I tell you that Israel will agree to stop and allow people to get, get away? I saw man, people going down, bodies going down and, and helping people move along. That's what I saw. But please stop blaming Biden. Jesus, he's the one that was able to get this. I think there's five or six hours now. They were four hours, but they knew that people were on foot. So please don't keep blaming him. You know, his numbers are low. But I'm going to tell you something, because I asked the higher realm, and I have to be very careful, because I, I, dear God, the, the thing is, while you're complaining about, whoops, while you're complaining about Biden, who does that give the, the presidency to? Who are you hoping people will vote for then? RFK? Trump? Will President Joseph Biden win the 2024 presidential? Oh, it's saying yes. It's saying yes. Will his numbers go up? It's saying yes. His numbers will go up soon. Okay. Uh, Brown Eyed Susan on Twitter said, Mike Johnson took a 14-year-old boy into his home as a single man, didn't enroll him in school, he spent his entire life since then in and out of jail. And there's people that think this is a non-issue. What the hell? Oh my God, you guys. They're all whack job. Okay, so this pre- ex-president is going to get hit so hard. Trump is going to be so furious with the uh, New York case. They're going to shut down businesses. They're going to tell them, dude, this judge is just TikTok waiting for it. You know, I don't understand. Like he talks trash about Biden, yet he thinks he should be pardoned. What makes you think people are going to be kind to you when you're so awful to them? But I want you to know he's going to get hit hard. As we get closer to it, I'll take a look, see. He's also going to get hit hard um with january 6th i heard she wants to start the um the jury uh in february that'll be done before the election by the way so he will be proven beyond a reasonable doubt to be uh insurrectionist now that florida won it's not going to happen till after but since he's not going to win as president it's going to be really bad That's when I think he just thinks I need to get out of here. That's when I think he's going to do that. 
So um, you guys were really wanting to know it. When Steve Bannon go to jail? Tell me about Steve Bannon. I just got a hit on Rudy too. Rudy feels really sick. Steve Bannon going to jail. And God bless the, what do they call him for that singer, the real tall singer? She's getting the young folks out to vote, pissing off the repubes. Steve Bannon. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look at this. Hold on. Somebody made a comment about him. So he will, Bannon will be in trouble for the January 6th. Okay, he was uh, found guilty last October. He thinks he's going to get out of it. He thinks Trump's going to get in and give him a reprieve. He's got more trouble coming. And you know, can I tell you? They're only about making money off fear. So when when they lost so badly on Tuesday on his show and others, they turn it around. It's even now, even on MSNBC, you think this would be a plus for our president, a plus for America. No, they're spinning it. Well, yeah, you know, this happened, but Biden is below this and he's this. They just don't know how to stop. That's why I told you guys, screw it. Just and so, in fact, as soon as they start talking that, I put it on mute. He will go to jail. I can guarantee it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. I got to tell you. Okay, Santos. I got Santos really hard too. He's got big trouble coming, you guys. Santos. It, it, Santos is a nothing burger. Uh. Bolbert is a nothing burger. I see us winning some seats back, probably for Congress in uh, New York. The thing is, when they close this this nation down or cause all this stress, it they're America's just not going to trust them. So he's looking like it's five. It could be five months, five weeks. So it could be. All right, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. So what is this? This is um, November, December, January, February, March, April. By next spring. By next spring, he will be tied up. They just make up stuff. It, he's really not in the favor of mankind energetically we can't judge him because we're fellow humans but what the guides are telling me is you know he's there's a blackness around him just like there is with trump they they got no thought of the well-being of mankind it's only about them fulfilling their own objectives their pockets and all this stuff about trump deciding that he's going to rule the roost that's not a plus in the pockets of a lot of republicans they don't want to live like that. Look what's happening now with telling women that what they can do with their bodies. People are coming out in droves. So even if some people maybe don't want their family to know, dude, I'm afraid of this guy. They might act like they're going to vote for him, but they won't. That's what I see. Okay. You guys remember I figured I thought that they would figure out a way to get Tuberville not to block all these uh, military um, advances. Uh, Senator um, uh, Klobuchar, Amy, she came up with an idea with just a majority. It has to go through the rules committee, but they think that's the way they can do it, where they just have to have a majority. That's what's going to go through because I see boom, 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 boom. This is all happening while we're getting laid off with the budget, et cetera. But this is all happening. 
And I want you to know, next year, um, when Biden is in office, he will complete, well, when he takes his vows, uh, what, in uh, January of 2025, he will, one of the first things I see him doing is um, getting, um, he's going to get the, um, I just went blank, sorry. He's going to get the rich to pay their fair share. He's been blocked at that. He's going to definitely do it. And it's going to pass. And that's where our money start coming in, where we can help others and do more work. Um, just funny how they go kicking and screaming. They don't want you. But you know what? In the meantime, let's cut Social Security. And hey, pay us back the trillion you took out of the Social Security pot. And then we can talk shop. So anyway, that's that's my input. That's what I got to say. But I just did this little thing because these things were laying on me and I just wanted to make sure I tell you guys while it's still fresh. And I don't want you to worry because I see. And the thing is, Joe Biden is going to have a nice. Remember last time he couldn't really have a good uh, uh, coming into office because uh, Trump locked him out of the White House and showed his ass. Well, now he'll be able to go through and, and show and be fantastic. He's going to do fantastic. They were showing. I don't know if you guys saw it with Mel and Kevin's show. Somebody sent me this uh, thing, or maybe it was on Twitter or, or uh, Squares, that Jill Biden with a doctorate, you know, Michelle Obama with a, a, a bachelor's from Princeton, and then they show Lauren Bulbert twice flunked out <laughs> from high school. So uh yeah, this is this is gonna happen. Ooh, I just got a hit. Just FYI. I saw Jim Jordan being kind of butthurt that everybody worked so hard against him to be speaker. I just saw that. Like he might not even be talking to some people, because a lot of people didn't want him. And he didn't realize how, hey, you know how sometimes even Trump thinks he's adored and then they find out they're not like that. The look on Trump's face when people were booing him at that baseball game. You know, so it's it, it can be hard. It can be hard on you. OK, I think that's uh, that's just about it. Um. Things are good, you guys. It's going to be fine. I can feel it in my blood. And as we get closer, I'm hoping to be on Marianne Revealing Light. Her and I, I'll, I'll probably be on her show and, and she'll be on my show and we'll give a good talking to you guys. She has a great show. She's the one that kept me calm when I knew Biden was going to win. And do you guys remember towards the end of the evening, it was showing Trump ahead? And I panic, and my friend Dan was trying to tell me that the the um, the voting, you know, the mail-in votes hasn't come in. But still, it was like what? And then um, I looked. I went in my bed, and I I, my, I felt like someone had punched me in the gut. And I thought, Did, why would my guides do that? Because I so trust them and so love them. And sometimes things don't happen exactly when they say. But usually they do down the road. So I was like so hurt. And then they said, um, you know, turn on revealing light. And she was on and she just threw out the cards. And she said, ladies and gentlemen, don't worry. He's going to get in. I see it. Okay. So that made me feel better. I think I even wrote her and thanked her. And then right after that, you know, when Joe Scarborough came on and said, President Biden is now the president. Senator or Vice President Biden is now the President of the United States. And uh, she was laughing because sure enough, they were dancing in the streets, just like I said. I saw dancing in the streets. Now, I'm not going to guarantee it's easy peasy. I don't know about being so close like that because I think more stuff's going to happen that people are just so upset with Trump. So I don't even know if he'll be up there. I know if Nikki Haley is running, she wouldn't win, but she's easier to digest, you know. But anyway, but no, it's 
it's definitely going to be President Biden. So we just keep going. He's going to work as hard as he can. God bless him. And the United States of America will be saved. And then down the road, a couple of years, they're going to get all those Supreme Court people are getting ready to go. Let's look how Justice Thomas is doing. Tell me how Justice Thomas is doing. Give me the truth, the whole truth. Oh, I guess Congress was thinking about checking into what these guys with all the money. And guess who gave them a big fat amount of money? And they, oops, they dropped, they dropped it. They're not going to investigate it. Don't worry. There, there's going to be some serious stuff. And Thomas is in trouble with the IRS. Oh, hell yeah. Ten of swords out of the blue. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. He's um He's trying to remain strong and he's thinking this will pass or be go under the, the bridge, but it's not because guess who's watching him? The realm, the God force, the people. You must not fool with that energy. So, and I can see his wife just whining just overwhelmingly because she thought she was somebody. But now, like, they're, I don't see him tossing money his way because they got to pull it in. They don't want any more eyes upon them. But they actually think they're so much better than other people. But listen, if President Biden had done this, had taken a large sum of money, you don't think they'd be all over it? Or Ruth Gator, Ruth Gaber, what did I say? Ruth Ginsburg, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Or... Anybody that's a Democrat had done something like this, they would be, oh, yes, we must. We must have an investigation. So, you know, whatever. But this is going to go by because look what's happening. You guys just look at last Tuesday. This was saying, guess what? America doesn't want liars anymore. So don't lose hope, even if the MSNBC try. Oh, you know who I don't like? I'm sorry. Not as a person. She's probably really nice as a person. Uh, not Katie Court. What's her name? She's on MSNBC. Hold on. Katie Kerr. Something like that. She was talking to someone, interviewing them, and she said, oh, come on. I mean, it doesn't affect. Oh, it was Simone. I love her. Oh, come on, you know. Biden's age doesn't affect you. Come on, tell me the truth. What's really being said? And I thought, shut the F up. No, get off of that. Because he's got better things to do than run for president. You think he's running for president for his health? No, he's doing it because he wants to complete what he started. And he and that's all he's asking. Just let me complete it. And he knows he can beat Trump. So God bless him for sacrificing his own health and life for the sake of this country. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. And I love you all and God bless. Cheers.